Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, what do we got here? Well, this would be a Henry Roberts map. Uh, it exhibits the discoveries made by the British explorer, Captain James Cook. Okay. Captain Cook was a really remarkable guy. Just imagine 1775. I mean, these were explorers finding new things. So Captain Cook went all around the world and documented everything, came back with drawings of the crazy animals, like platypuses and things like that. Oh, yeah. Which people thought it had to be BS. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell a uh, 1785 James Cook discoveries chart. My neighbor, he gifted the map to me. He found the map in his attic when he was running new electrical wire. I'm asking $15,000. This is really cool. I really do love old maps like this. Mm -hmm. Captain Cook, he was arguably one of the first like scientific rock stars. The huge problem about sailing back then, it was really easy to figure out how north or south you were. So basically, if you're going somewhere, you would just go down to that latitude and just sail east or west. And literally, sometimes you wouldn't know if it's 2,000 miles away or 100 miles away. You just run into what you're going to. But east and west is a different story. So him and some other people in England uh, actually developed a system to figure out longitude. I believe he was the first one to uh, map uh, Australia, map New Zealand, and he discovered Sandwich Isles, which is Hawaii. Uh, yeah, the Sandwich Islands. The names and spelling are interesting. Yeah, that's another thing. It really wasn't up to the 1700s that there was a way to spell things. As long as it sounded right, it was cool. It fascinates me that they could have this much detailed knowledge. Yeah, it's something to appreciate. From the 1785 edition. So in 1784, a series of books came out with everywhere he'd been in the world and uh, described his voyages, had some charts and maps in them. There was three books and an atlas. Of all those books, you have the coolest page of all the books. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does have some condition issues. This is absolutely terrible. Someone glued this whole thing right here. I know. And this is a nasty little stain there, but this was laid paper from 1780s. Mm -hmm. The dates are right around right on the paper. I just want to make sure it's a first edition. So, I mean, it's really cool. I'd like to have my buddy take a look at it. I just want to make sure this is the map from those books. All righty, not a problem. Oh. Yes, we have uh, a general chart exhibiting yes. the discoveries made by Captain James Cook in his two preceding voyages with the tracks of the ships under his command. Very nice. Captain Cook was amazing. He was the one who, who went around the world three times. He was attempting to claim parts of the world for England. Places like New Albion here. New Albion is California, but this was England claiming that part of North America, okay. even though I don't think the Spanish would have agreed at that point. <laughs> this is from the, the 1785 edition. This map is one of the ones from the second printing of the voyages. There were three volumes that were the descriptive volumes and then an oversized volume that had the maps in them. And this was the major map. It's a wonderful chart. It's often the one that people like, but it's got some condition issues that are fairly major. As you've got some, some breakage at the fold, you can see a lot of discoloration in here. Um, this is bad. Um, the, the fact that somebody glued this, this label on here, you'd want to have a conservator take a look at it. And that's going to have some expense involved in it. But it's a collectible map. You know, it's a beautiful piece. Thanks, man. I really Not appreciate it. Hey, Very thank interesting you, piece. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. So how much you want for this thing? Well, I'm asking 15,000. OK, that number is like astronomical. Just last year, the four volume set, mm -hmm. the 1784 first edition with all the maps sold for 18,000. OK. Do you have the coolest page out of all the books? But there's just no way it would ever go for $15,000, especially being so damaged. I mean, completely restored, I could probably get two grand out of it. OK. I'd give you like 400 bucks for it. 
Whoa. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely interested in getting a good number for it. Nah, you know, nothing around $400 I would take. OK. Well, shop around. If you yeah. change your mind, come back and see me. Not a problem. Thanks, Rick. It's pretty good. Yep. I was pretty surprised to hear the value of the map. I was hoping to get $15,000 for this map, but I guess the ship has sailed.